a lot of questions about suspension, uh, especially for the KTM 690. And so I wanted to show you guys a cool tool. You don't have to own this tool, it just makes life a lot easier. But uh, I want to show you an easy way to uh, set your sag. And if you really want your motorcycle to handle properly, you need to have your sag set properly. Um, on the KTM 690, that means that you're going to have your saddlebags installed, you're going to have your gear, all that stuff, the way that you ride your bike you're gonna have all that stuff on the bike a full tank of fuel the works I'm gonna show you on my motocross bike because I don't have time to adjust the uh, 690 suspension and it's a lot easier for videos sake to uh, show you on my 250 SX but I'm gonna show you how this works and how this tool works so the tool is called the Motul Slacker it's made by uh, Motul Industries or something like that and what it is is it's a digital sag tool. So this thing basically attaches to your axle and it attaches to somewhere on uh, your fender or, uh, or your side panel or whatever. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, what's really really cool about this tool is that it also can do your front sag. So any of the preload adjustments that need to be done in your bike can be done with this tool. It also works for your mountain bike, it can work for your street bike, a whole host of applications. Basically how it works is that it has this little cable. So you uh, hook the thing up to your bike and you turn it on and it's zeroed. When we do the slack on our bike it tells us how much sag we have. So first things first we need to figure out where to hook the Motul slacker up so I'm going to use the stereo cable that they provide. This is so that you can uh, see the slack measurement on the handlebar. And what you do is you go from your swing arm pivot. And we'll just pinch that right there. And we're going to go back to the axle. And we're going to follow the arc of the way the shock would move. So we would want to attach the slacker somewhere onto our side panel right here to follow the arc of the suspension. So Motul actually provides um, some little sticker things to hook the tool to. Um, I already have one installed right underneath my side panel right here. So what I've done is I've taken this stereo cable and I just ran it behind my frame rails, underneath my radiator shroud, and up to the handlebar where you can see I have the digital readout added to my handlebar so that I can sit on the bike and adjust my sag myself. Alright, so next we're going to install the slacker tool on the axle, and it has a big old magnet right here. So you don't really need to do anything exciting, you just need to attach this magnet to the steel on your axle. This clicks right on. So once we've found the point, using the arc, we want to know where we want to hook our thing to. We just pull this out, and attach it to the side panel. So now we're going to have our digital readout onto the handlebars, which I can show you now. So next you want to make sure that you're wearing all of your riding gear. I'm not going to be wearing my riding gear for this video, but I'm going to show you uh, how I do it so that I don't have to have all my riding gear on in this 100 degree sunshine. I'm going to put on my motocross boots. And I'm going to put on this 8 pound weight vest. Uh, might be 10 pounds. Anyway, this is going to simulate my helmet, chest protector, and um, you know, maybe my backpack that I ride with a lot of the time. But anyway, I'm going to put this on so that I don't have to install my other riding gear. You also want to make sure that you have fuel in your motorcycle. Very carefully take the motorcycle off the stand. And move it out of the way. So now we're seeing what's called the static sag. You can see here 29 millimeters. I'm not going to set that right now. We're going to adjust the rider sag. So, sit in a neutral position, compress the suspension, and then try not to touch the ground at all so you can get your sag read out. So, you can see here my sag's right about 111 millimeters. That is way too much sag, especially for the tight little cornery track that I ride. So my sag is way too soft right now. 
So normally you'd have to loosen some collars, or on a lot of KTMs you loosen a hex bolt, and then you turn the shock spring and the collar at the same time to increase the preload. In my case I have this X-Trig uh, quick adjuster installed on this motorcycle so I can make fine tuning at the track. And last weekend at the track I had too much sag in this bike so it was, it was riding real far back and it was flying front end high off of jumps. So all I'm going to do is put this 8mm wrench on here and we're going to increase the preload on my shock. And I haven't used this collar enough to know how much that is, but I'm going to make a whole bunch of turns and remeasure. Okay, so we got the tool zeroed out for our final setting. And there you can see I've got exactly 100 millimeters of sag. The last thing I'm going to show you here is the web app. Hopefully there's not too much glare on that. So Motul has supplied this app so you can keep track of your bike and you can also do some quick references on your motorcycles. So what we're working on here is my motorcycle Old Smokey. And it shows you the factory settings. So my rear static sag needs to be about 35 millimeters plus or minus 5 and my rider sag needs to be 105 plus or minus 10. You just watched me set it at 100. So what we're going to do is we're going to check my static sag now, which is all we do is pop the bike off the stand. But first we're going to go into our setup notes. We're going to do shock. We're going to do rider sag, 100 millimeters. And I don't have all of the uh, clicker adjustments in there right now, but I do know that I have 10 clicks out on the shock. So we can save these settings in the, the app here for uh, later reference. Save this as 808MX, because those are the settings for 808MX track. So I have this little note, if I was to go to different tracks I could pop this out of my truck and I could add another track in there where maybe it's a real high speed track and I want to run 105 millimeters of sag then um, we can uh, we can squat the back a little bit so she handles a high speed a little bit better. Pretty darn cool app if they don't have your bike in there you can send them an email and they'll add your bike pretty quickly. So our last measurement is going to be static sag so we have the tool zeroed again It looks like our static sag is somewhere around 26 millimeters, which would indicate that um, I'm running a little bit too much preload on this shock, and this spring is a little bit soft for me. And I do know that is the case. Um, I'm about 20 pounds overweight right now, so I'm going to run it the way it is. It works pretty good. Uh, as I'm losing weight, uh, this will be a little bit more accurate, and it won't take much to get me within the specs or whatever that I need for this shock spring. So. This is really cool. You can easily tell if your suspension is too soft or too stiff for you, and it's a lot easier than using a friend. All right, guys. So that's the lowdown on the Motul uh, sag tool. Super, super cool. Those of you that uh, have used tape measures in the old days, or you don't have a metric tape, or you don't have friends that have a metric tape, and you don't have friends that race motocross like myself anymore, because there's not a whole lot of that offered where we live. Uh, this is super, super handy. Um, I'm going to link down to this below. Um, in full disclosure, that is an affiliate link, but uh, if you like this content, appreciate it if you click on that to uh, help support me. Um, I can't recommend this thing enough. It's, it takes a lot of guesswork out of your suspension, and it will make your motorcycle handle a ton better. Um, hope to do a front sag video in the future but I don't have time to uh, do that right now. I have to go to work and uh, pay the bills so I can buy my slacker tool. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Catch you later. Make sure that you uh, like and subscribe, hit that little uh, notification bell thing over here because I've got some uh, pretty cool content coming your way that you're gonna wanna see. And uh, that's a promise, next couple weeks. Later.